Huge thanks to AOEH for sponsoring this video. If you guys are looking to buy cheap Rocket League items or even sell your items securely and instantly, make sure to check out AOEH.com. I'll have the link in the description and make sure to use the promo code MITTENS at checkout. Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're all having a great day. So today we're going to be going over flashy kickoffs that actually work. Now obviously these are not supposed to replace your normal kickoff, but there actually is a ton of unorthodox ways to do kickoffs and still get there at the same speed. So I figured I would go into this kickoff training practice pack. I'll have the code in the description if you want to check it out. But I went into this and just uh, experimented a bit, tried to figure out some, some weird and unique kickoffs uh, that looked really cool and I figured could actually win against a player that is doing a normal kickoff. Um, so yeah, I found like eight or nine, I think, and I'm going to be going over those with you and how I did them. And then I'm going to be going into a private match with my friend Zor, who is a GC player, and he's going to be uh, trying his normal kickoff against me, and I'm going to be trying to win with all of these different kickoffs. So I haven't named any of these kickoffs, I'm just going to be numbering them, so if you guys want to comment down below names for each of these kickoffs, I'll make sure to pin the comment that I like the most. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of the video, and let's jump into it. So this first kickoff was created by Squishy. Basically what it does is it makes it so that your car is facing the opposite direction. It's a very good 1v1 kickoff and it's uh, very unorthodox as you can see. Basically what you do is it, it has to be on the straightaway kickoff or it, at least it should be. Um, basically what you do is you just drive forward and then you do a half flip forward but all the way so that you fall on your hood and then after you fall on your hood, you just press A and then you'll flip back over and uh, you'll you'll make contact with the ball. Um, so as you can see here, when I did it on Zor, I did flip up a little bit too much. I didn't land perfectly on my hood, but it still worked. Um, it would probably work a little bit better if you do land on your hood completely. But uh, yeah, you guys get the point. Um, it's a pretty good kickoff. It works good for 1v1s and it looks pretty cool as well. So let's go to the next one. This next kickoff is the Shuffle Wave Dash. Now, this mechanic was just recently discovered, I believe. Um, so not many people are doing this kickoff, uh, but there is some. So you may have done it if you do have the keybind set up for the Shuffle Wave Dash. Uh, if you want to learn how to do the Shuffle Wave Dash, there's probably tons of uh, tutorials on YouTube. Um, so just go watch one of those. But basically what you do is you Shuffle Wave Dash towards the middle and then just flip into the ball. Um, it's debatable whether or not the shuffle wave dash gives you more uh, speed than a normal kickoff But you definitely have to use a lot more boost because you have to use all of your boost before you do the wave dash um, So yeah, you definitely won't have any boost left afterwards um, But yeah, that's this kickoff. It looks really nice. It's quite simple But I figured I would add it in here because it is a flashy kickoff as this mechanic is is quite advanced and it was just discovered recently um, so yeah, let's jump into the next one. This next kickoff is the turtle wave dash kickoff. Basically, it's just a wave dash, but on your back. Um, this is a bit more difficult than a normal wave dash because you basically have to like half flip into the ground um, so that you land flat on your hood and it increases your speed. Um, so it's very weird to explain, but uh, it's not that difficult to get down if you do know how to do a normal wave dash. Um, it is kind of viable. You can actually do it uh, as you can see here against Zor um, He's going full speed doing a good kickoff and you can still uh, beat him with it if you get the uh, If you get the roll like perfectly timed like when you uh, when you land back onto your wheels You kind of have to like catch the ball at the perfect time um, So it's a bit weird obviously don't do this unless you're up like five goals, but uh, it is a pretty cool kickoff nonetheless this next kickoff is an old school flashy kickoff. Basically what it is, is just a freestyle to a block. You're just trying to block the ball and freestyle while doing it. I mean, I'm sure they probably did this like two years ago. I just figured I would throw it in there because it's like one of the first uh, flashy kickoffs that there ever was. This next kickoff is basically just like a nose stall where you slide on your nose. Um, it's actually extremely viable because basically all you're doing is just uh, creating more surface area for you to hit the ball. Um, if you get this down correctly, you could really uh, do some damage with this kickoff. Um, it's not just a flashy one, it's also you know quite a viable kickoff in my opinion. 
So to do this kickoff, all you have to do is do a sort of nose stand at the end of your kickoff. You just do a normal kickoff to begin with, and then at the end you do a sort of half flip into a nose stand um, so that you create more surface area for yourself. It looks pretty cool, and it also works really good as well. So on this one, I was thinking to myself, I've done a normal wave dash, I've done a turtle wave dash. I wonder if you can do a wave dash on the side of your car. And it, it turns out you can't. I mean, I didn't think you could. I didn't think it would actually work. Uh, I did it in training. I was thinking, eh, it probably won't actually work on someone that's, you know, trying to do a good kickoff. And uh, it turns out that it actually does. Now, don't get ahead of yourself. You can't just go around wave dashing on the side of your car all the time. It's very hard to actually get the, the wave dash on the side. Um, you have to be super precise. You don't really have much room for error at all. And uh, yeah, so I don't think you'll be seeing anyone doing this kickoff in, uh, in games anytime soon. But nonetheless, this was my favorite kickoff. I was so surprised that it actually worked. And uh, I mean, geez, I'm gonna try to do it sometime when I'm up like five goals, I'm gonna try to pull it out. Uh, but there's no way that I can do that like on command. It's, it's just too uh, difficult. But nonetheless, this was the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I had lots of fun making this one, uh, messing around with different kickoffs and stuff like that. Uh, so leave a like if you did enjoy. Drop a sub if you are new. And once again, comment down below with some names for these kickoffs, uh, some unique names. I just, you know, I basically just named them off of what actually I was doing. But uh, yeah, so just drop down some names. Like I said in the intro, I will pin the comment that I like the most. Um, so yeah, just go do that. Hope you guys do have an excellent day and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.